science enthusiast who are attending that session i can see right there in front of me on the saturday evening a very good evening to all of you guys who are sparing their saturday with us and on this live session what we are conducting today on data science uh, on on ages gamble award national talent hunt uh, ages gamble award national talent hunt for data science ai and cyber security i believe the guys who have just who are joining in and who have joined already they might have got an idea that what that data science and that ages gamble award talent hunt is all about that's why the con the idea was playing these video to set up the context uh still i can see there are candidates joining in i request the organizer team metali and divyanshu i believe in front of me do share that uh, link with your uh, different groups all together and uh, so that more and more individuals will get the uh, will, will join that uh, session and uh, it will be beneficial for each and every one of you and your institution as well so without any further ado so let's start off with the session so uh, so for the initiating that uh, session may i please request mitali to come up and start off with the session yes thank you sir for having us and sparing your time with us uh let us begin productivity is never an accident it is always the result of committed commitment to excellence intelligent planning and focused efforts that is what we have seen in the teaser over here so good evening everyone and ritesh sir and rupesh sir i am mitali gandhi and i welcome you all on the behalf of training and placement department rgpb to this introductory session on ags gram bell award national talent hunt for data science ai and cyber security where you will get to know every detail about this program this program will provide you a global platform to showcase your talent to the world and will provide you complete exposure to information scope and disruptive technologies that is data science machine learning ai deep learning cyber security etc and will offer you a stimulating learning environment where you can train yourself with the industry experts i would like to thank our vice chancellor sir dr sunil kumar gupta and our tpo ma'am dr shikha agarwal ma'am for continuously bringing us such great opportunities for us so to take this session ahead and now i would like to introduce the speakers who have joined us today for this session first we have mr bupesh dhariya so he is known as the educational reformer reader serial entrepreneur with 25 years of experience in the field of telecom exponential disruptive technologies and education his quality education to the masses at an affordable cost that is what he offers us he founded at the school of business data science cyber security and telecommunication in 2002 with the support of bharat aided india stop telecom firm for developing the next generation leaders in in 2011 under his guidance he launched the first mmba program on tablet on the mobile university platform which was unveiled by mr sachin pilot honorable minister state of communications it government of india in 2013 designed and launched the world's first master in enterprise mobility to address the issue of operations system investigator mobility vendors enterprises and career aspects in 2015 he launched india's first master in data science with inputs of ai and big data in association with ibm subsequently also launched the indus first post graduate program in cyber security applied ai blockchain and full stack development in association with ai we welcome you so next we have mr ritin joshi sir who is the head of executive education and alliances he has over 10 years of experience working with global firms he is the custodian of creating ecosystems around exponential technologies that is data science ai cloud and ai cloud computing and cyber security he brings insights and best practices across area including data science ai cyber security exponential technologies cloud computing and also bridges the gap between the demand and the supply of the exponential technologies and helps organizations institute enterprises to grow who are transforming themselves as data driven organizations now to proceed ahead we welcome you all and it's over to you ritesh All right. Uh, thank, thank you, Charlie, so much. Thank you for such an introduction. Uh, 
and uh, we are really glad to really have this session and uh, i hand over to ritin ritin will be conducting today's session right. thank you thank you sir so thank ritin, you so much you. yeah yeah thank you thank, thank you, you so much, and your organizing team thank you thank you so thank you thank you mitali and devyanshu for uh, conducting that session and uh, put up your efforts in terms of bringing the uh, the, the data science enthusiast i would say and the exponential technology enthusiast so thank you for the warm welcome and uh, on the saturday evening again guys a warm welcome to you for joining the session again i'm requesting as all the candidates are joining in do share that link among your friends and peers so that more and more individuals will get the benefit out of that session and i really thank you uh, rajiv gandhi pradeep ji vishwavidyalaya for uh, this opportunity for uh, showcasing that what exactly that egba will bring for uh, Rajiv Gandhi Pradeep Vishwavidyalaya, and also the uh, flag bearers of uh, the new technologies era, that is, of Industry 4.0 revolution, of those young guns who are attending that session in front of me, and uh, a very uh, thanks uh, to the TPO, the director TPO, Dr. Shikhar Agrawal, for uh, providing that slot to interact with your uh, candidates as well, and hopefully we'll be conducting such sessions in near future as well so without any wasting much time guys let me quickly share the screen and start off with the session in the meantime do share that link again i'm repeating uh, with your friends peers so that more and more individuals will get the benefit out of that session so without straight away jump into what that award is all about let me quickly play one video with you guys so let's see what is there in the future to bring and <clears throat> where we are heading and what the future is all about so quickly play that video this will give you some insights and though i have already set up the contact but still watch that video and do tell me if you can hear the sound give me the thumbs up or chat box artificial intelligence is in a state of rapid change most companies that were evaluating or experimenting with ai are now using it machine learning has played a vital role in this advancement So what is exactly machine learning? Machine learning is a subset of AI which is based on algorithms that improve automatically through experience. Various industries ranging from IT, finance, media, gaming, robotics, manufacturing have already set ML technology in practice. ML's algorithm helps them understand how the products are being used so that they can customize them according to the customer choice on a large scale. Let's take Netflix for example. In order to recommend what you may be most interested in watching next, Netflix have deployed machine learning algorithms that associate your preferences with that of users with similar tastes. Another good example is the automotive industry which is excelling in ML by making safe driving a reality. Nissan Tesla, Google, and many other companies are using ML to bring novelty to their cars. Voice recognition, IoT, and high-tech camera in combination with ML are expected to make the self-driving cars a reality, where you will just sit in the car and tell it the destination. The car will find the best route and will drive you safely to the desired location. It really is remarkable what ML is expected to achieve in this sector so far. ML, however, is still in its very early states. A lot of work needs to be done. In the future, machine learning will help to build self-learning robots and machines which are expected to improve their performance without using any human involvement. In this way, the machines can make decisions based on data by using the data from the past to predict the future actions. Unimate and Sophia are examples of programmable robots. Sophia. Are robots going to take our jobs? Only if you want us to. Furthermore, new robots are being designed to mimic the human brain using neural networks, AI, computer vision, and other technologies. So far, we have only seen robots that perform various tasks like humans in science fiction movies. With rapid advancements in AI and ML, that can also become a reality. Quantum computing is one such advancement which will give ML the capability to create systems that execute multi-state operations at the same time by using the quantum property of superposition which will improve the processing of ML models. Computer vision will also provide ability to identify and analyze data in form of graphics, videos, audios and images. 
ML and AI will continue to have great impact in our lives in the future. The need of the hour is to maintain high-speed processing systems which will carry out ML-based algorithms with high accuracy and precision free from any biases. This will make the creation of ML products a lot better, but also more fun. With the improvement of ML tools, the data scientists will be able to focus more on efficient ML model development rather than spending time on tedious production tasks. Thanks for watching. So, uh, with that video, can you hear me? Yes. Am I audible to you guys? You might have heard that video, you might have watched that video. So, the pr purpose of showing you that video is all about the future where we are heading. Right? This is not about future, this is happening in the reality. The future has already been conquered. Right? So, today, any application that you use, be it Netflix, who are a savvy Netflix users, I believe, amongst us, who would be watching series by series and spending time in watching Netflix and Amazon, that applications would suggest to you that what would be the next video you should watch or maybe the next series, depending upon your taste. Same goes with your Google and the YouTube analytics. Same goes with your, when you're purchasing something on Flipkart and Amazon, it gives the recommendation to you. So it is happening in a way to the life. Tesla, which has been explained, the driverless cars is no more the James Bond era in 70s or 80s. Whatever we have uh, seen in the movies, which is practically it is happening. The key uh, element of these disruptive technologies, it's all about data, which is expanding like anything. That's why data has been called as a new oil or maybe a new gold or whatever you can name it. Now, if the data is there, the data is doing that uh, disruption in the industries. Similarly, that data includes your uh, personal data, that includes your confidential data, and that data has to be secured and analyzed. And that has given the birth to cybersecurity as well. So meantime, these areas like AI, machine learning, automation, robotics, cybersecurity is booming like anything. And that's the reason at Aegis we have come up with to identify the young talents or maybe the, to, in order to foster the culture of innovation. That's why we have started that Aegis Bramble Award National Talent Hunt and for which we are gathered here today on the Saturday evening. Let's see what that Aegis Bramble Award will bring you and how you can get the benefit out of that Aegis Bramble Award National Talent Hunt. Moving on, guys. Okay, so a quick brief. Uh, so again, uh, 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 thanks to Rajiv Gandhi Pradhubiki Vishwadhyale for giving this platform to interact with your uh, individuals, the candidates from different branch, I believe. So how many of you just, you can type it over chat box, guys, and try to make that session interactive. If you would have any questions, you can raise your hand. We will allow you, though there will be a question answer session at the end of the uh, session once I'm done. But still, if you would have any questions, you can type it over chat box. We'll try to answer your questions and try to be interactive as much as you can. So a uh, just quick uh, check with the guys, how many of you are from IT, electronics and communication, just type it your branch or chat box. So this is how the glimpse of Ages Ramble Award. So uh, the awardees, as you can see, with the uh, luminaries, the ministers, <coughs> Dr. Ali Sahastra Buddheji, you must have heard of, he's the chairman of uh, AICTE, uh, awarded the last AGB National Talent Hunt, which we have done over the past. Shri Nitin Gatkariji, Honorable Minister for Road and Transport. So he uh, facilitated the candidates. And there are a lot of glimpses to look at. I'll be showing you in the next slides. Okay, so we started communicating, I believe. Brilliant. So let me quickly have a look on that the chat box. Okay, EC, ESC, IT, electronics, MCA guys. Okay, brilliant. Electronics, electronics. Uh, okay, petrochemicals. Brilliant. So we have a different lot of segments altogether. Brilliant, guys. So it's a whole lot of segment where we have, still you guys are typing, good to know. So we have a whole lot of, uh, you know, the young guns, the creative minds from different branches altogether. So this picture signifies that if you want to do or dare to achieve something, what is required? Okay, so let me ask you some questions. What is that? Okay, so do you think that you have the potential and ambition to grow as a leader in data science, AI, and cybersecurity? Because there is a lot to come, there is a lot of exposure, salaries are insane and ugly, which is being offered, and, the, and you would have a feeling that you are doing something different from others. Do you have some brilliant ideas to solve the real life problems, which would be in data science, AI, machine learning and cybersecurity, or these, we call it disruptive technologies or exponential technologies, which is ruling that industry 4.0 revolution. Do you want to stand out from the crowd and showcase your talent to the world? Would you want to be a proud, uh, would you, do you want to make your parents feel proud? Do you want to make your institution feel proud of you? Do you yourself want to stand out from the crowd? 
Are you looking forward to make a successful career in these areas, which is all about data science, AI, cybersecurity? If the answer is yes, then this AGBA is certainly a must attend event for you and must participate even for you. Quickly agenda, who we are, what we do, I'll talk about. I'll talk about what is, what is AGBA, Aegis Grand Bell Awards. Again, I can see that participants are joining in. Do share that link with your friends. Again, guys, we just started off. So it will be beneficial for a lot of other individuals as well. Okay, so about past highlights, we'll talk about what is there in Aegis Grand Bell National Talent Hunt. We'll see the past winners, who can apply the eligibility criteria, selection process, what would be the selection process, the juries and the committees who would be shortlisting the candidates, why it is a game changer and must participate even for the college and the students as well. Reward and benefits, we'll talk about for the colleges, for the institution and the students particularly, who will be the flag bearers. Uh, how data science and AI and cybersecurity can transform the world if the time permits. I'll certainly walk you through with some of, some of the exciting uh, problems that ages we are trying to solve out of these AI and machine learning segment. Quick do's and don'ts guys, do not, I believe till for the last two years, I believe you are used to have that live interactive sessions. You cannot become a, a you know, a, a pooper. Maybe you, can, you cannot turn on your video. This is requested from you. Do not turn on the videos. Do not unnecessarily, do not turn on your mics as well. If you would have any questions, do ask that questions over chat box or maybe raise your hands. Some decorum we expect that certainly and you would do follow that. Quick brief about ages, who we are, what we do. So we started, we are ages of school of data science, cyber security and telecommunication. So uh, we are one of the premium institution who offers programs in telecom management. Long back, most of you might have born that time or maybe three, four years young. There was a time when telecom disruption was happening. It was a time when the mobile phones, the Escotel and pagers, they were ruling the world, right? Most of your parents would be a proud owner of big mobile phones of Samsung or Nokia. You might have seen that, that era. That was a time of transformation of telecom, which was booming up. So that time, Sunil Bharti Mittal, the big show of Airtel, he supported IIT Delhi and Ages in order to develop the cross-functional leaders. And that was a time, guys, when two major collaborations had happened in India, and we started developing the cross-functional leaders with the telecom management program that we started. This is a quick journey. Uh, almost eight years before IBM, they came to us. Most of you would be aware about IBM. They joined hands with us because IBM, they are being the leaders in big data, data science or AI, and cloud vertical. They come to us. We have joined together, and we have started offering various master's program in data science, AI, machine learning, uh, cloud computing, and cybersecurity. So uh, we are the proud school partners with GMAT, TOEFL, and GRE. As you can see, Data Science Congress, just for your information, you can go and check it out on YouTube or Google. You will get to know which is one of the largest event happens in the entire globe, where all the innovat inno innovators, the CXOs, CIOs, they gather together and showcase their innovations. Similarly, the Ages Bramble Award, as you can see at the end, that we initiated almost 12 years before. It's been more than a decade. So when ages, the main theme of coming up with that ages Bramble Award is to reward the innovations which are coming up from different segments from the companies across the pan India and across the boundaries entire globe. So we do reward the innovations coming up in different segments under that ages Bramble Award. These are the academia collaborations guys we had had over the past few years. Uh, so like IBM, I already talked about, NVIDIA, most of you would be aware about, no need to mention for the gamers as well. So without them, we cannot able to play high graphical games and your PS4, PS5, thanks to NVIDIA. So they also join hands with us. So uh, then Ubitech, maybe you might have heard of that Ubitech, they are one of the largest leader in uh, robotics based company. They also come, they join hands with us, with them we are working upon various projects. Amazon, no need to mention the largest number of servers they have. Amazon, AWS, they have also joined hands with us in that course of developing the skills for the corporates, for the individuals like you. These are the academic partners that we have got. We have been recognized by IBM for developing their skills and creating the ecosystem around these skills, which is data science, AI, machine learning, and cybersecurity. These are the quick programs we offer, which is a master's program in data science on campus model, live interactive model in data science, business analytics, and big data. This is the certification participants they will get. We also do offer master's program in cybersecurity with IBM. Same off-campus online, which is absolutely master's program. And uh, for those individuals, working professionals who are looking forward to get into uh, core AI machine learning, we offer AI-based core AI 
applied AI machine learning and deep learning programs as well, both in full-time and live interactive way. This is the certification participants that we get. Enough about us. You can go and check out on uh, Google and YouTube about us. Let's jump into the main agenda, which is Aegis Gramble Awards. And this is the 12th annual Aegis Gramble Awards we are coming up, uh, guys. This is an initiative of Aegis School of Business, Data Science, Cybersecurity, and Telecommunication. As you can see, this award is a tribute to the father of telephony, that is Alexander Gramble. That's why we have given the name Gramble Award. That award has been supported by the top notch uh, bodies like Ministry of Electronics and Telecommunication, as you can see, Information Technology, Government of India. Government of India campaign, which was run by our Honorable uh, Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji, Skill India campaign, very dream project of Shri Narendra Modi ji, supported by Office of uh, Office under the Ministry, that is NIC, which is National Informatics uh, Center, powered by Tech powered, tech technically powered by MUNI Campus, which is one of the largest digital stack company. You can go and check out on MUNI Campus as well, and obviously initiated by Ages. Quick introduction, as I already mentioned, this is the largest innovation award. Uh, why we have come up with that award? In order to recognize the real awards, the, the innovations happening in different segments altogether across the globe. Uh, the Ages School of Data Science has. Uh, uh, it, and that award is being supported by, I already mentioned that, it is a huge gathering of the entire CEOs, the thought leaders, CTOs across the globe who uh, bring their innovations to us. There is a very prominent jury who always do check out their innovation, uh, uh, scrutinize them, and they will provide them and, and the final selection process, and then the winners will be announced. You will get more information on www.bellaword.com. You can type it up if Vignesh is there. Vignesh, if you're on board, please type that uh, website link, www.bellavo.com, to the candidates so that everyone, would, they can check out and put it up in their note, 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 uh, note as well. So this is a quick brief about the nominations part of Aegis Gramble Award. What kind of nominations are coming from people companies as well? So a quick brief about Aegis Gramble Award. You might have got some insights that what AGBA will bring and why that award has been uh, initiated. So these are the companies. This is primarily designed to showcase the innovations uh, for the companies uh, like enterprises. You name any company. We have been uh, uh, we have been uh, showcasing, you know, uh, uh, observing the innovations coming from different companies altogether, different segments. Time and Smack series uh, from you name the companies, be it IBM, Airtel, Vodafone, different segments, IT, telecom, media, mobility, banking, finance, you name it. In telecom, in data science, AI, cybersecurity, all these companies that do come across the globe, showcase their nominations, uh, send their nominations, and we do reward the best of the innovation. This is the Aegis Gramble Award. 
the parent award is all about. So now these are the categories which we have got the innovations from. Uh, you can get that information from bellaward.com as well. So different jury rounds, as I mentioned, we would be conducting and we started, uh, we have, uh, they have these companies in different segments, they have nominated themselves. We have, uh, uh, you know, get done with the jury rounds as well. And the award ceremony will be happening in 25th of February. So till now we have seen almost eight plus lakhs uh, companies who would be generating the 65,000 uh, plus revenue and 60,000, 6,000 plus investment in dollars that we have, these companies they have generated over the past couple of years. And that's why these heroes are impacting millions of lives because these are the companies who would be your proud recruiter, be it you name any company. That's why we do recognize them through that ages Graham Bell Award that we have initiated. So now these are the quick glimpses of the past event that we have done, like Nitin Gatkariji uh, felicitated the individuals as we have seen the videos as well. Shri uh, Pratap Chandra Sarangiji, guest of honor. Sonam Wangchuk, you all would have seen that movie Three Idiots inspired by Sonam Wangchuk. So these dignitaries, they do come and they do uh, motivate and also facilitate the candidates. These are the quick highlights. Uh, Dr. Sachin Pilot and all these ministers, they do come and they do reward the companies in that event. Nitin Gatkariji, as you can see, Professor Anil Sahastrabhuti, the chairman of AICTE, also do facilitate the individuals. These are the quick snapshot of past events that we have done. So now coming back to Ages Gramble about National Talent Hunt. So now few years, few, few, maybe two, three years before, we thought of why to restrict ourselves only for the companies. They are doing amazingly well, the innovations are coming. We thought of why not to dig out the innovation from the grassroots level, why not to dig out the innovation, the innovative mind, the ignited minds from India, from the institutions. That's why we are coming to your institution and we are identifying the best of the brains from your college, fourth year candidates who any stream who would have some innovative ideas, that idea can be scalable. If anybody would have a startup innovation idea, anybody would have worked upon any project related to any innovation. If the individuals they are looking forward to make their career in data science, AI or cybersecurity, then this Aegis Ramble Award National Talent Fund is certainly for you guys. So what that AGB Talent Fund will bring as I already mentioned, it is aimed to identify, recognize the best of the brains who have the potential to grow as a leader in exponential technologies. This is dedicated to help the student communities create the ecosystem around that data science, AI, and machine learning, robotics, uh, and to foster the culture of innovation in India. So uh, I'll be leaving you with that link. If, if I ask Avinash would be there, please share that link with the candidates so that more and more individuals will start applying to that uh, link. I'll be leaving you with that link once I'm done with the session. So this is already, you have seen that video, what that AGBA will bring you. Again, I'll play that video. Those who have joined uh, later, please watch that video. This will show you. Do you want to make a better world with the incredible power of artificial intelligence, data science, and cybersecurity? If your answer is yes, then join the Aegis Graham Bell Award National Talent Hunt for Data Science, AI, and Cybersecurity. This talent hunt aims at identifying the best brains who have the potential to grow as leaders in the exponential technology fields of AI, data sciences, and cybersecurity. The Aegis Graham Bell Award was initiated in 2010 as a tribute to the father of the telephone, Alexander Graham Bell. This award is Asia's one of the most credible and largest innovation awards, intended to promote innovations and innovators in the fields of technology. The award is organized by Aegis School of Data Science, Business, Cybersecurity and Telecom with the support of NITI IOG, the Government of India, Cellular Operators Association of India and Telecom Centers of Excellence India. First, the final winner will be recognized at the 10th edition of the annual Aegis Graham Bell Awards 2020 in New Delhi on February 27, 2020. Second, the winners will get to work upon real-life AI, data science, and cybersecurity projects. Third, the winners will also get support to launch their own startup in our incubation centers in Mumbai, Pune, and Bangalore. And fourth, 100% scholarship to pursue India's best postgraduate program in data science, business analytics, and big data, EGP in applied AI, machine learning, and deep learning, 
or PGP MS in Cybersecurity in association with IBM, offered by Aegis School of Data Science and Cybersecurity in Mumbai, Bangalore, and Pune. So what are you waiting for? Let the world recognize your talent. Apply now. So this is a quick brief about AGBA. What is there in the AGBA? We have already seen, I've already showed that video. But uh, let me, a uh, quick correction, that uh, was mentioned for 2019 award because that was the time we started. So uh, the, the benefits will be the same, but this time that the winners will be awarded on 25th of February. This is the award ceremony, which would be happening. So now quickly uh, jump into that, the, the uh, criteria and who can apply and who can nominate themselves. Anybody who would be at, in the final year, any stream, bachelors, uh, B.Tech graduates, any stream, PhD holders. I can see that MCA graduates are also joining that uh, particular session. If you uh, want to make a difference in your uh, life, if you, want, if you think that, okay, you have the potential to grow as a leader, do come join and nominate yourself. Any individual who have the potential uh, or an interest and ambition uh, to grow, as I already told you, uh, in, as, uh, grow as a leader in data science AI, they can join. Any individual who have developed some kind of prototype, product or innovative solutions. If you think that you have some idea to work upon that idea can be scalable, that award invites you. Any individual who has some brilliant idea to solve real life problem statement in data science, AI, ML, cybersecurity, you're most welcome. Startup companies, if you would have your own startup or maybe you are planning to start something of your own, do come up and this award will give you a, a different exposure altogether. Working professional, any stream, any domain, they can also apply. And uh, for that, ages ramble away from children. Moving on to the next slide, guys. So what is the benefit that you will get? So as I mentioned, the winners will be, first of all, this would be a proud moment for you, for your parents, for your college, because you are doing something which is, which make you stand out from the crowd. The winners will be announced and recognized that the Asia is one of the largest innovation award that is named and known as Oscars in Innovation, Ages Gramble Award 2022 on 25th February. Winners will get to work upon the real life project, guys. Also, another benefit you will get if you have a startup idea, we will provide you the space and the incubation centers where you can start your own startup company and we will provide you the complete uh, know how, the guidance, and the mentorship. And that is fourth point is optional. If anyone of you would be looking forward to go for higher studies, maybe to pursue your uh, masters in data science, AI, cybersecurity, then this is optional. And this program, this, this award will give you a 100% scholarship and the financial aid to pursue your program, which would be master's program in PGP and master's program in data science, AI, or cybersecurity that we have already seen in the video and you can see right there. Now for the colleges. As I can see, there are some faculties who have also joined us in between. So what is the benefit for the colleges, right? So it's a moment of pride, honor, and rejoice to be a part of. And uh, we are glad that uh, your institution would be one of the academic partner for that award we are coming up with. So it's obviously a pride, of, uh, an honor, and moment of pride, honor, and rejoice for your institution. This is the platform for your TPOs as well uh, and your thought leaders your directors to engage and network with the top-notch CEOs, the CIOs, who are becoming across the globe. You can expand, as in college, outreach. More number of eyeballs will be capturing your institution, which will increase your brand awareness across the boundaries. Uh, appearing for that award, and if any one of your candidates will be winning that award, so you will be you know, provided with that uh, entry, the delegation, from your college would be coming up and they will be sharing the same stage with the luminaries and also the uh, proud awardees where you can showcase your thought leadership to the world. This event will be broadcasted live. So entire world is watching you and also there will be a, uh, you know, the, the gathering of the PR uh, agencies, print media, electronic media. So your branding and your, uh, it's a branding prospective for your institution as well. And also the networking with the key decision makers who will be your prospective recruiter? So for the TPOs, and I believe that uh, Mantha or somebody from the, uh, you know, the, the, the uh, placement committee. Uh, so this would be a area where you can do the networking from the top-notch companies who would be coming and they would be your prospective recruiter. So these are the benefits for the colleges that they will get. What is the nomination process? It's very simple. Online applications, which is open now. So once we receive your application, you need to appear for one ages aptitude test. And once your test is done, it's a one hour test, live interactive, 
Uh, you can appear on that test through your <coughs> mobile phone and laptop as well. And once you're done with the test, you will be, uh, you have to appear for one interview. So juries would be there who would be gauging you on various parameters. And in case we find anyone brilliant, then certainly that award, the, the winners will be announced. So I'll quickly take you to that page. There are two ways in which you can, let me uh, go to that mode and I'll share that uh, link with you if you do not have. So just a moment guys. Okay, so let me share that <coughs> link with you over chat box. So you can share that among your friends and peers as well. These are the two ways through which you can uh, Vignesh already has shared that, I believe. So these are the two links. Let me quickly type it over chat box. All right, so these are the two links. So you can go also visit to our bellover.com or maybe you can go and check out uh, uh, the, the uh, uh, MUNI campus, just a moment, uh, slash program slash AGB talent hunt through which you can also apply. Click on that link. I will show you quickly how it goes and how it looks like. Okay, so. This is how the website looks like. Quick demonstration I'm giving you. <coughs> so this is the Bell Award page. You can uh, check out the award categories, winners and the finalists, the juries, the process, the winners. This is for the AGB. And you will see AGB Talent Hunt right there. Let me zoom in. Click on that AGB Talent Hunt page, this caption, this is tab, and you will see that page will appear. And you need to click on apply. And this is how you need to apply on that particular event. You can also see about the event, about past winners. You can also check out the juries. Let me quickly take you to the juries who will be uh, gauging your talent and your caliber. So let me quickly take out the, take you to the jury round, juries. Dr. Abhijit Gangopadhyay, he is Dean of Ages and uh, also he's the founding Dean and Director for uh, Tata Institute of Social Sciences. I am Indore as well and he's a Dean of Ages. Also take care of various uh, retired IES officer uh, from IIT Kharagpur, uh, retired been into IES as well. So he's one of the juries, uh, Mr. Bhupesh Taheria, as you already have met um, uh, Mr. Taheria. He's the CEO of the Center Ages Grow, founder of MNE Campus. So he would be there, Bhavik Gandhi, the director for data science, uh, People's Interactive at Shadi.com, Ashish Tendulkar, software engineer at Google, uh, Dr. Paul Palat, head of Big Data Analytics at Vodafone, Dr. Vinay Kulkarni, he's a director of Ages, takes care of Hadoop and Spark at Ages, BTEC and MTech from IIT Bombay, Sridhar Govardhan, the CTO for uh, Flipkart, the CISO, Chief Information Security Officer. So a lot of juries would be there. You can check out the juries. A lot of other individuals you will get to know and check out that link. You can directly go to that link, which already been shared with you, which is MNE Campus uh, slash program, uh, mnecampus.com slash program slash AGB Talent Hunt. This is how you can go and apply to that particular event that we, I have discussed with you. So now moving on to the next slide quickly, guys. So these are the juries and the selection committee already I have showed you. You can visit to that bellaward.com, the links I've already shared, and you can check out the juries. Okay, so now, as we have already mentioned, if you have been following me since beginning, so as I mentioned that there are real projects. So this, uh, this award, if the winners of that award will also be working upon various real life project, the Capstone project, project that we are working uh, for the companies, these are all real life projects with real time data sets, real problem statements we are solving. So like skills and job trend analysis, this is what we are already have done with UNDP, United Nations, job recommender system, we have already done that, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, uh, the, the project. Call drop analysis, churn prediction means how many customers will leave one telecom company to another one prediction based, absolutely automated based projects. Uh, churn prediction for there are candidates who have done amazing projects if you can go and check out on our website and maybe in our channel in youtube slash ages in which we are live as well there are candidates who are watching us through our live uh, streaming as well through youtube we have our channel on ages tv if you go and check out you will get the uh, innovations that we are working upon there are team of uh, mechanical graduates as i have seen there are candidates who are coming from electrical mechanical as well in this uh, meetup that we are conducting, brilliant project what they have done, their team they have done, they have uh, created one auto insurance. So depending upon, suppose anybody car got met with an accident. So depending upon the dent, how much insurance that company would give you, <coughs> immediately that image, again, you need to capture the photograph and the system will tell you that how much insurance that the company will provide you for that 
uh, wear and tear that would have happened. Amazing project based out of image recognition system. Another project, the team they have done, which is a cricket prediction, which is a crick talk. I'll tell that you can write it down somewhere, go and check it out on our uh, Aegis TV, crick talk. So gone were the days you will see in coming time and the IPL which is going on, you won't find any, uh, you know, uh, Gavaskar or maybe uh, Ravi Shastri or maybe any other uh, uh, Greg Chappell or maybe anyone who would be uh, commentating, right? So over the cricket match going on. So the robot, the, they have created a kind of bot which will give you a ball by ball commentary in that live streaming cricket match. Brilliant project. Go and check this out. I'll show you one project quickly, which is handy with me. Uh, so let me again share my screen and uh, let me connect my mobile phone. So this will show you that I'll quickly demonstrate that amazing project, which is a project Kojo, right? Let's find missing child. This is the theme because there are a lot of candidates who are missing, right? Individuals are missing in India. The number would be horrible. If you just go and check out how many kids with the age bracket from two to maybe uh, one year to 15 plus years would be missing, the number will, you know, it, it is devastating. And it's a nexus crime. If you would be a, a lifesaver, maybe your life would be in danger if you are looking forward to save somebody's life. Any beggar you find on the street, maybe you are in Bhopal, right? So in any, uh, there is a Sarafa market you must be aware about. If you find somebody, they're begging on the street, you go and click the photograph because you have the mobile phone now. So why not to use technology? This is what we are doing. Without talking, I'll show you uh, one project. Let me quickly share my screen. Uh, I'll share my desktop and then I'll take you to that. Uh, any desk, just a moment. Let me connect my mobile phone with that. All right. Okay. So I believe all you can see my screen is it mirroring on your uh, laptop. Can you see that screen? Yes or no? Anyone? Yes, sir. Can you see that, guys? Yes, sir. Okay. So put yes on the screen and the let's be interactive, guys. So put it yes if you can see the screen. So how this project is helping the individual. Okay, started getting the responses as well. You guys are still awake. Good to know. So now this is product Kojo, as you can see right there. Let me open that screen. This is how the dashboard looks like. And what I'll do, let me quickly take the picture. I'm clicking on that uh, screen, which is capturing missing child photo. And the camera is on, as you can see, let me capture my own photograph. Okay, it's done. So now if I'll click on right button here, see what will happen. Immediately it has traced my geolocation and the proximity is hardly a few meters away. Somebody can come and ring my doorbell, okay? So now if suppose you find somebody begging on the street, somebody is missing, click the photograph from a mobile phone, your identity will not be disclosed to anyone. Go to next button, okay? And it will ask you to provide your details like name, I'm written, my phone number is something like da 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 da. Comments if you find any peculiar about that individual, like wearing that specs, highly talkative individual, whatever you feel like. So you can put up that mark and put it on submit. Immediately, your information will be sent to the nearby NGO, the cyber cell. And this is how we are helping the societies with the use of application. Guys, so this is one of the examples through which we are solving the real life cases in data science uh, and AI, how data science is transforming the businesses and how the projects would be uh, creating an impact and how we are using that AI, machine learning and all these techniques to solve some real life problems. That was the intention to show you that quick project demonstration. Now, there are a lot of projects we are working upon like uh, chatbot for business rule engine, video analytics and indexing, a lot of projects we are working upon. Again, uh, so this, in this particular event, as I already mentioned, so nominations are open. It's six o'clock. Start nominating for that award. Winners will be announced at 12th edition of the Asia's largest innovation award that is known as Oscars in Innovation, on the 5th of <coughs> February. Sorry for the bad throat I have, uh, throat infection. Okay, so now uh, these are the quick highlights. Those who have not seen the videos, I'll quickly play these few seconds video, the glimpses of the past event. This will give you an insight that how the award has been held in the last few years. Thank you very much. Uh, 
Honourable Sir, for your address. And uh, as you know, I'll announce a little while earlier, we had. Uh, Thank you very much. What Talent Hunt, uh, a little mission across India where we had more than 4,200 students who applied. And from across that, we have uh, 13 of them who are present here today. And uh, they are, of course, uh, the Professor Anil Shahasrabudde, the chairman of AICTE. Can I have you on the stage? Also inviting Dr. Abhijit Gangopadhyay, the dean of AG School of Data Science, Cyber Security, and Flipkart. I'd like to also invite R.P. Singh, National Secretary BJP, to join us on stage and uh, Kulul together as a young innovators, the future, the talent of India comes in to receive their award. And of course, as you know, it's a scholarship for the young innovators. Next, I'd like to call... A quick glimpses of that event. This is the group photograph of the winners with the dignitaries and the luminaries. Okay, so last time it was a pandemic year. You all know that we have conducted that award in a live interactive way. So that uh, there were uh, <clears throat> dignitaries who were available. And this time in the last phase, the winners were, uh, they have been uh, felicitated by Dr. Vinsav, the father of internet, because of which we are able to connect with you through this internet. So let's see the word of wisdom from the Vinsav to the awardees students well i am very impressed to, with this whole program it's very clear that uh, all of you who are honored today work very hard to get to where you are and that's important because it's evidence that you're capable of doing that kind of work that means that wherever you end up uh, to go to work they're getting the benefit of a great deal of talent and energy and creativity that you've already demonstrated which is a terrific way to start your careers. So congratulations to every single one of you. Uh, I'm sure we're going to be reading about you in the headlines as time goes on with some of the ideas that you'll tell us and surprise us with. Students. So this is the only well, I am very last impressed year. To, with this whole program. These are the awardees for the last phase two. Dr. Vinsor, as you have seen that he was Felicitating the individuals. A quick word of wisdom by Professor Anil Sahastrabuddheji. A few seconds. I congratulate all the eight winners of AJS Graham Bell National Talent Third Awards for Data Science, AI, Cybersecurity of Phase One 2021. We are here Raju Reddy, Kari Madhuri, Abhishek Mishra, Aishwarya, Muskan Pandey, Abhishek Mutaya. Then uh, Saurabh, as well as Aditya Rai, you know, all of them, they deserve appreciation. Congratulations for all of them. I hope all of them will create great startups, become entrepreneurs, provide jobs rather than seeking jobs. So that was a quick brief about AGB and Natural Talent Hunt. So I'm open for the questions, guys. If you would have any questions, this is the time for you. You can come up, ask your questions, you can raise your hands. We will allow you to. <coughs> ask your question. Sorry for the bad throat I have. So, uh, if you would have any questions, raise your hands or type your questions over chat box. Anyone would have any question? Kuldeep, Shikha, you guys are hyperly active, I believe. Ashishta, Sumit, Astha, Sudhir. Anyone would have any questions? Please do type your questions over chat box, guys. If you would have any questions, already I have showed you how to go ahead and apply for this. Nominations are open. So, and let the world recognize your talent. This is the theme of this AGB Talent Hunt. So AGB Talent Hunt is inviting the young guns, the young innovative minds for this phase one, 2022, the largest innovation awards, invites you again to showcase your talent to the world. Nominations are open, guys. These are the two links already we have. Send it to your chat box, follow these links and uh, Apply, nominations are open. Thank you so much. So I'm Ritan, Ritan Joshi. You can also reach out to my team, uh, Vignesh as well. I believe you have his number. If you would have any questions, you can reach out to me or Vignesh as well. Thank you so much, guys, for the Saturday evening thank you, sir. time with us. And thank you for the coordinators. Mithali, though, we were expecting more crowd. I So maybe we can conduct some other sessions to your other branches as well. But thank you so much.
for your efforts that you have put up for making this uh, event a success. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much, sir, for your time and such an insightful session. And really thank you for introducing such a great opportunity to all of us and taking this initiative. It was really fascinating and it was great to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Take care.